Pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, the team is searching for a ritualistic serial killer who's closer to them than they think in the episode Asian Cut. On this week in Vice, we're taking a look back to when this episode of Miami Vice aired from December 18th to January 14th, 1989, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on December 21st, Pan Am Flight 103 was destroyed over Scotland by an explosion, killing all 243 passengers on board. Known as the Lockerbie bombing, pieces of the aircraft landed on homes in Lockerbie, Scotland, killing an additional 11 people. Years after the tragedy, two Libyan nationals were handed over to authorities, and in 2003, Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi accepted blame for the attack. In sports, on December 31st, the Philadelphia Eagles took on the Chicago Bears and was now known as the Fog Bowl. The fog at Soldier Field in Chicago was so thick, visibility was limited to only 15 to 20 yards, with each sideline and crowd unable to see the field. The Bears would go on to win 20 to 12. In music, Look Away from the band Not Covered in Fog, Chicago, would eventually fall off the top of the Hot 100 and let a classic 80s hairband take over at number one. From the album Open Up and Say Ah is the power ballad Every Rose Has Its Thorn by Poison. This would be their only number one hit, but it would be number one for the entire month between Vice episodes, and is not only their only number one, but really the only good song from Brett Michaels. You heard me. In movies, Twins would rule the box office for the remainder of 1988, and finally on January 2nd, 1989, it would relent. Taking over the top spot at theaters is the comedy drama Rain Man. Starring Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise, the movie was an immediate hit and would hold the box office for five weeks, grossing over $300 million. It would go on to win four Oscars, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Actor for Dustin Hoffman. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on GoWithTheHeat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.